So, hello and welcome here again to a new video and today we're going to talk a bit about everything crypto related and if that sounds interesting, well I suggest you should leave a like, comment and subscribe because that helps out the channel quite a lot. Also make sure to join the Discord, link in the description down below. And with that being said, let's get started. So looking here over on Luna, currently sitting up below 80 bucks again because the price actually decided to take a dump overnight and yeah, we are going up from the dump though because it was low as 72 I think and we're now yeah let's move its way back up to 79 bucks again so for that we don't care too much about the price looking over on anchor $2.17 49 USD worth of fund 49 USD worth of anchor in our wallet so in total we have 200 bucks of anchor moving over to the interesting part is Star Tower the IDO for over here one day and 17 hours we already participated currently we are place 70 so 30 places to drop until the IDO is over so hopefully we are able to acquire that position currently the lowest is 13,000 and we got 23,000 in total and yeah we still wait for Luat to be released and yeah that's pretty much everything We're waiting on Nate protocol also still 617 that we got pre-funded, even though uh, Angel Protocol is below IDO price. Kojiwa, we sold at 140 yesterday. So actually, good move over here. Star Tower, we got also rewards. We got around 56, so that's almost 200 bucks again. So overall, still, <coughs> it's earning us a lot of money. I went also, claimed to ask to rewards and Star Tower. Don't know why they still show. Let's give it a quick refresh. And then, obviously, they should, yeah. The new rewards 5.86 and 1.56 as the token in total. So, pretty much everything's looking decent over here 70.75% that we still get daily. So, is it still worth to join? Well, depends. If you are planning on being there for the long term, it is. If you don't plan to be there for the long term, well, it's risky to say because the only way you are really going to make profit is by participating in the pre-sales. And the more pre-sales you participate, the bigger your profit will be, obviously. And you can see some performed 27x, some did 35x, and some only did 13x. But overall, if you get 10x from every pre-sale or even only 5x, you're going to make a lot of profit in the long term. I only want to get like an allocation of 1,000 over here. 1,000 for Kaizen and 1,000 for Luvenaverse, and it is already worth it. For Luat, we got 1,000 as well. We could even got more, but sadly, we didn't do that. But nevertheless, moving over to something which is also really interesting still to have a look at is uh, am I connected? Yeah, to looks and looks we have from now 604 UST worth of Ethereum. And we found a total of 180 LUX token since the release of the protocol. And I don't know the current price of LUX, but CoinGecko will tell. <coughs> so we go over here and we are searching for LUX token. So LUX currently $4.79, uh, almost on the road to its next all time high. Last time we reached 5 bucks and and it started to correct things. So currently, let's see, we have 1,680 token. Uh, we don't need to copy it actually. 1,680. So that's around one, one, uh, 8,000 US dollar worth of Luxware token plus the 600 uh, in ETH. So that's almost 10,000 USD from that airdrop. And what could we do with that money? Well, that's up to us. We could use it, swap it for some other token, put it into stable, or even bridge it over into Luna. Nevertheless, Aurora, what did happen to Aurora during the dump? Well, we came down as well, 24,000. So we dipped around 100, uh, 10,000 UST worth of LP overnight. We formed around 42.3, so around 100 UST, we got 0.15 Aurora, and we already stake 22.78 try, and I'm thinking, let's collect it, uh, put them into, again, staking, and yeah, that's basically it, what we are going to do, because as I said, I'm not going to sell unless the price is starting to move up, because at the moment I'm 
I don't know, doesn't fit worth to sell it. It was at three bucks. It can go up to easy for UST or even higher. And I think by staking, we are simply getting some try and it auto compounds 30%, even though it isn't that much, you know, it's better than not getting anything or keeping them in your wallet. And over here, you auto compound, which is one thing, which is really good. <coughs> and I know auto compounding always worth it in the end because you are simply getting more if you would uh, harvest them all the time. But I'm not doing that with all of my funds because I still want to get some rewards all the time that I could uh, either sell or put into staking. Also for a reward swap. Let's see how much we farmed over here, because price also went down quite a bit for this farm. So we got around 50, uh, 65 UST worth of token from them. And I don't know what the LP currently is worth. Uh, hopefully we will see that in the near future, what we provide here. But currently we are still earning 30% in a month, so still not that bad. And currently looking at Warner, because that's the only farm I didn't join yet. Well, at 77 cents, is at the all-time low, and the percentage are still decent, you know. You have the one USDC, USDT, and so on, and I'm thinking about joining the Aurora one, because, yeah, then we are in all the yield farms that are relevant on this blockchain. And here we will get a landing protocol sooner or later. They announced that in the Telegram, and I think even on Twitter, so keep an eye out for that, the first landing protocol over on uh, Aurora and that will actually be interesting to see that play out because then you can start taking loans on the Aurora token as well as some farming token like BRL and BRL actually could go up in value as well because that is going to happen and you can land them token over there that actually takes away the selling pressure for that token so that's one incentivize why i'm looking at uh, a world swap also at the moment as well as for three solaris like those two are my favorites and yet i'm still going to join one as well because i don't know being in everything is simply the safest so if anything is going to make profit well we are making profit on top of it because we simply were in all of them and yeah that's how I'm going to uh, participate in those farms. And for NFTs, well, NFTs don't know how they performed. I think they uh, yeah, do what NFTs are doing, uh, which is most likely yeah, being at the same price as they were all the time. Where Bunny still down a bit, Wimwater up, Shiba Shalter down a bit. And cool dogs, I'm not even having them on my watch list, I don't know why, but yeah. Cool dogs, let's have a quick look at those as well. Almost 0.2 ETH, well, that was actually pushed finally in price. And that's good to see, because I like this collection a lot. They give me the vibes like Rare Bunny does, Cool Cats give me those the same vibe, you know. Like when I look at those NFTs and I can see resemblance in a collection that I already hold it or that I really was into, well... It gives me already like confirmation that the collection is going to perform decent. I'm not going to say perform really good because you never know how a collection will perform. But overall, the collection 589 for one cool dog, that's a decent price. And yeah, cool cats, still not much happened. 28, so in around 10 days, we are going to need our cool cat for going into the cool pets and that will actually I don't know I think that will make a cool cats go bullish and move up in price again and yeah currently what I'm going to look at is some tokens like looks where I want to get more but yeah it's hard to say because the token is already up that much and I don't want to buy into it right now because we got it for free and <laughs> that's the situation you know I don't like stuff that you get for free and Mm. You need to buy it, but yeah, it is like the only coin I'm really looking into at the moment besides a Aurora, like, I don't know, those are the only two coins I really look into, obviously, uh, Luna, but there I don't need to purchase anything because the position is still like the same as it was uh, since yeah the beginning, like since six dollars, we didn't do anything uh, on this position and that's the goal for Aurora. Right now, accumulating positions all over the place, 
uh, to be in there for the big push when it comes, you know. I don't know, I feel like this will be the same as with Luna, hopefully a good 10x everywhere. So 10x on that RP, and also, you know, you so, saw uh, your puts coming on here. So yeah, that's what I mean. They offer a lot of puts and that's what I mean. That's good for a farm. And yeah, that was it. Uh, don't want to make the video too long, so uh, until tomorrow, bye-bye.